How's it going guys? My name is Luke and today we are playing some more Minecraft. Uh, I got a lot of suggestions from you guys in the last video. I'd like to first thank everybody for your birthday wishes. Um, it meant a lot and so it, it made my birthday even more better. Um, but um, I really haven't done that much because I saw that a couple of you guys want longer videos and actually want to see the, like me building stuff in comparison to the original Minecraft series that I had on my channel which is the RPG immersion pack where I did most of the building and mining in between videos um, so I guess I first am going to show you guys the suggestions uh, like I said I was going to make a section near my house where I was going to put all your suggestions and comments about what to do in this series and instead I am going to put them in this cave because <laughs> I don't know exactly if I'm going to be staying there. A couple of you got me or gave me some good suggestions in terms of where you guys want me to build uh, the house and I can always have more than one house. Actually what would be kind of cool is to have um, several houses after like a certain amount of episodes we move or relocate. Uh, but I think first we'll go to the suggestions. Uh, first of all, I divided them by episode, so these are all the suggestions. And I even put down uh, who said them, so you guys can get a little shout out for helping me out on our road to make, um, I don't know, a fun series. Uh, so first off, oh, and I also like to thank you guys for, uh, we just reached 1,500 subscribers, uh, and it's all thanks to you guys. Uh, we actually grew pretty fast in the last couple, like, last week or two, uh, but I'd like to thank you guys for that. Um, and then here's, we're on our way to 2,000 subs. So first of all, uh, one of the challenges that I saw, and I also got a couple messages on this, were to find all the CD discs. Now this is actually a good suggestion because I actually do not know, um, I know they added a lot of CDs lately. Not in like a patch in like the last couple weeks, but uh, like I said, I haven't played this in a while, so I know that is kind of a good challenge to do, so we could do that maybe on the side. I think the only one that I know of that is uh, for Minecraft in terms of CD tracks is the cat video or cat sound track or the cat CD track. I don't even know what CD disc. That's what she calls them. Um, so thanks, Kayla, for that. Um, another suggestion was to build on top of the mountain. If you guys remember, we were trying to decide where we wanted to build, and it was either on top of there or we were going to try and build over there and just expand. Um, I think my spawn point point is over there and um, so it's right next to my house or right next to that makeshift house it still doesn't even have a roof uh, but one of you guys suggested to build up there so I wanted to try to decide I think I think up there would be really really cool the only problem is that there isn't a lot of space but um, what I'm going to try and do is build like a makeshift house, a small house up there. And then as we continue in the series, if you guys have any suggestions about places that we find when we're exploring. Uh, a couple of you guys did want me to explore a lot, uh, including finding... I guess we'll go back to this first. Um, so that's the mountain suggestion. Um, people wanted to see a 30 minute episode. Uh, build a load of tree houses in a jungle because he wanted um, to make it look like we're in like a um, Star Wars e the Ewoks um, I think that's the sixth movie uh, I think that's a really fun idea uh, but I do not see a jungle anywhere near us I think my few distance is on far yeah and this is a main one, but I'll get back to that. So find a swamp. Um, I found out from you guys that you can actually make leashes now, which I didn't know, and that allows you to like kind of herd uh, mobs into wherever you want to go. So that's a good way to make like an animal pen, I guess, if you want to say that. So, but I, apparently you need a slime ball for that. So I do not have that at the moment, so we're gonna have to try and find a swamp nearby. I don't think it should be too hard. But, 
Let's see. What are the other suggestions? Um, another mod. Uh, get the new snapshot. Now, the new snapshot, I hear um, they're adding a lot of stuff, but I, besides the fact that there's a now going to be a run button separate from like the normal W button or the or the walk where you have to double tap to run. I don't really know any of the new um, features, so that should be always interesting. I still haven't even okay, I guys, I haven't even seen a horse yet, and <laughs> I know that's not exactly a new update. So that's how long ago I've played. Um, so make an animal pen, um, and then get the snapshot. And the so the main one that I wanted to talk about is Mons, yay or nay. Um, like uh, Napalm suggested, he wanted to see um, the Shaders mod in this series. Uh, I was going to ask you guys, first off, I really wanted this to be like, uh, kind of, I know a lot of YouTubers, they have uh, survival series and like just regular Minecraft, so it might um, be not the most original idea or most different or interesting since it's been out for so long. But since I had that Minecraft series uh, where we had those all those mods like the Divine RPG, I don't know exactly which um, how many mobs there. I think there was like six or eight in that mod pack. But I wanted to ask you guys: Do you guys want to see? First of all, do you want to see the Shader mod? Uh, that's gonna be my question of the day, just because uh, I probably need to know that by the next episode which will probably be next week. On I'm going to try on Thursday. I know this video is going to be up on Friday, and it's because I've been so busy. I am actually really surprised that I was able to upload four videos already. Uh, I don't know exactly how I did it, but it sort of just worked out that way. But if you guys um, want to see any mods, I was thinking what would be really fun is doing like adding more uh, more creatures. I think that's how you say it. Or uh, there's also more creeps and weirdos. I hear that one's really fun to play on or play with. Oh shoot! No, my sapling. <laughs> okay, there. Decoration's still there. Um, but yeah, so I want to know. So those two things. Um, one of those, or if one of those two mods, the more creatures that are more creeps and weirdos, if that would be interesting for you guys to see. And then also, do you just want vanilla Minecraft or, and, okay. And then I guess there's a third question. Do you want to see a shader mod or do you just want to see this? I kind of like this texture pack because it's, um, I, think, I guess it's still original to the original Minecraft, but it also adds, I don't know, a more clean look to items and stuff like that which I kind of like and it's also I think the one I'm using is I like to say like 32 by 32 but it might be 64 by 64 I can't remember um, because you used to have to install texture packs really complicated if you use 64 by 64 so I don't think I'm using that kind but so those are the questions I want to know and get your answers to. Also, if you guys have any more suggestions that you think of while you're watching this, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to give you a little shout out for that. Also, if you guys like you um, have been sending a lot of fan art and it's been a, like really great to see it. Um, thank you for all that. I still haven't actually been able to put all of it in videos. Um, I still have like probably I don't know seven or eight different fan art that I have, but I'm always looking for um, new stuff that you guys make, so it's like a really cool way to see um, that you guys like the channel, like the videos and stuff like that. So feel free to send that um, to the email that's in the description, as well as also if you guys want to keep up to date on like what's happening with the channel and everything. Be sure to try and follow me on, I know a lot of you are following me or liked my Facebook page for the channel, but also the Twitter, I tend to update people a lot more often. So that's always the better way to keep up to date on videos and stuff like that because as I get, uh, most of you guys know that I am in school right now. So as the, like, the school semester continues like further down the road, 
it will probably be harder and harder for me to keep on track in terms of how many videos. I try and upload four videos a week for those that of you that are new. Um, but it's sometimes tricky to keep on track. You'd be surprised. I still haven't, like, I've been so busy that I haven't really had time this um, week to even work on homework. So that's how, like, behind I am. Uh, but, let's see. Oops. There we go. I'm going to make another axe and probably actually a pickaxe as well. Um, I don't... Oh, wait. I thought I had a sword too. Oh, okay. So I want to try and see if we can build the house during this episode because <laughs> it would be nice to have some more place to, to call home. That would be kind of nice. Uh, let's see. There we go. And... I also saw one of you suggested, not on a Minecraft video, but also, uh, but in one of the other videos that you guys wanted to see the question of the day return. Um, I, if you guys are new, I used to do in my original Minecraft series a game of, or sorry, a question of the day each video. And it was more of a way to, for me, it was right when I started off. So I wanted to start to get to know you guys and I thought that was a great way to start that like introduction but um <laughs> I started to run out of I did 20 around 25 I think a little shy of that um Minecraft episodes in that series uh, if you guys haven't seen that um I really suggest you guys see that because it's I, I introduced myself a lot about myself during that series and uh, what one subscriber wanted was to see that return. Oh wow, this is really small up here. It looks really big up uh, when you're down there. Okay, so I guess we'll set up here, and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build like a, a house up here, and then when we find somewhere else that you guys want to see um, for us to move, then we'll just relocate the house. I think that's the best idea. Because I don't know if I really spawn in the best place, to be honest. Uh, there we go. But yeah, so I was... I ran out of questions towards the end of that. That's actually the main reason why I haven't done questions of the day. Um, it, you, you'd you be surprised how hard it is to actually think of good questions that are actually interesting to, um, and, uh, I guess, creative. Uh, so... I was thinking if you guys really want to see that again, what I'd do is I'd sh I'd showcase a subscriber that uh, let's see uh, do it, do it, yeah that comes up with a good question um, in the, in each video. If you guys want to see that again, let me know if you do. And then if so, what's a fun question that um, would could be a question of the day? And then I'd showcase that subscriber in the video, um, just as like a little shout out for giving the question of that day. Because otherwise, it's like literally, I probably went with through um, after I started running out of questions. I think I went through a couple websites to try and find fun, uh, creative questions, and I used pretty much all the good ones. So uh, it's kind of difficult. I don't know how some people. I know there's some. YouTubers that might do questions of the day and they've been doing them for a long time So I don't know how they think of it. A lot of them are just like really random But let's see I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I, one of you guys were saying that I should change the floor to sandstone So that's what I'm probably gonna do uh, But I have to first explore that desert and I think it's probably best that I first build a house that's probably a good idea, don't you guys think? Uh, we're gonna build... Let's see. Okay, good. We still have these. There we go. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh. Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Um, that means that we don't need one of these. There, okay. We're probably gonna have to go and get more materials <laughs> because we're already running out. <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> okay, uh, there we go. Luckily I got some more wood, otherwise we would be completely out already. Uh, let's 
let's see, there we go, there we go. And it's gonna build like a little like place where we could look out. That'd be kind of cool. Okay. So yeah, this is gonna be the start, really the start of the series. I really wanted to uh, do a lot of these inter these questions that I need to answer. So, and I want your opinion on it because I really want this series to be really interesting and for you guys to have something to look forward to every week. But uh, let's see, over there. there. I know they added. Uh, I can't believe they added baby zombies. I didn't even know that until we saw them in the last episode. But I wonder what other mobs they added. Like I've only battled the Ender Dragon once, I think. Maybe maybe twice. Oh wow. Spider I got all the way up here. I don't even know if it's Oh wow. Did we get five levels of experience during the last episode? I remember that. Okay. But I'm interested to see what other kinds of creatures they built or they <laughs> included in this that's why I think it would be really interesting I've never played um oh my gosh there's a lot of guys down here okay okay holy crap where are all these guys coming from no our signs oh my gosh they ruined it <laughs> Okay, well, I'll put those back up for the next episode. Jeez Louise, where are these guys coming from? Oh my gosh, I look like a porcupine already. Okay, so now we got... Ah! Shoot! <laughs> Scrap! Okay, where are we? Where are we? <laughs> oh, there's our start of our house. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, maybe that isn't the best place to put the signs. I might have to close that up and light it up more. Uh, because that obviously didn't work as expected. I thought it was going to be a lot better than that. Oh my gosh, I have so many mobs. Why are they all attacking me? I just want to be their friend. Ah, back. If that... Skeleton keeps on hitting me. I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Run, run, run faster, you fool. Oh, come on! <laughs> Why is happening? Why? Why? <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna, I don't care. We are just going to change it to peaceful because, oh wow, we were uneasy. Why are they, were they doing so much damage? I swear those baby zombies can just go straight through my stuff and it does not work at all. I mean, what is wrong? Okay, over here and we'll try and get in again. Uh, let's see. Oh, poor. Okay, we only got we only lost three signs. Actually, most of those were the signs that I had to spawn in because um, I wouldn't have enough to. Do you know how long it would have taken just to get all of those wooden planks to make that many signs? It would have taken a while. Uh, okay, so let's go back and. Oh my gosh! Did we lose the? There was a chest too where all these were in. Uh. Oh, there's a sandstone we were looking for. Uh, we can use that. Let's see. Um, okay. And let me know. Also, I heard, I saw one subscriber had mentioned that he had trouble hearing uh, the. Audio in the yesterday yes oh, not yesterday it's last week's episode so I would like to hear your feedback on if you guys think it's too quiet or um, do you think it's just fine how it is let me know I originally had a lot of problems if you've been around with the channel for a while you'll know that uh, <laughs> that's been an issue I guess you could say 
in my earlier videos, I had a really big problem with static, and it was only until like probably a month and a half ago that I was able to resolve it. I actually got a new headset that seems to work pretty well. Uh, let's see, I am actually going to get some more cobblestone because I don't think, let's see, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a door here and then light it all up so that there's nothing that can spawn in here, but I'll have to first close this up, but I don't have anything to close it up with, so it doesn't make sense to try and do that. Okay, we've got our first iron. Oh, hello. Well, if you don't include the, uh, what's it called? Um, the iron we got from that zombie yesterday. Not yesterday. Yeah, yesterday in the game. Let's just, let's just call it that. It's easier that way. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna mine over here. But yeah, um, I, after, I don't know. I was actually at school on my birthday. I actually went home. <laughs> Uh, to um, back to the town where I was, um, I'm from, and I actually went to see a movie. It's called Insidious 2. Let me know if you guys have seen it. Actually, I don't know. You guys, um, if you guys have seen that one, you probably have seen Insidious 1 and The Conjuring. The Conjuring was a really big movie. Um, it was actually pretty scary, which is actually... I always like those movies. There aren't that many of them, but those horror movies that are scary, but don't need feel the need to be extremely gory. Like, I feel like, I don't know, uh, directors of horror movies feel dependent on including, like, gore and blood to make a movie scary, and it's not, like, those, The Conjuring and Insidious and stuff like that showed that that wasn't even, you didn't even need to do that. That wasn't necessary, and I, that was, like, so cool to see a movie like that, that I, I hope more, like, directors will do that, too, because I actually really like scary movies, even though I am extremely jumpy, um, even when I play, like, horror games sometimes. Like, I, I've, I, I didn't want to see a lot of it in case I eventually play it on the channel, but I saw another YouTuber, a couple, actually, actually a lot of YouTubers, that are playing a game called Outlast. Um, which is a horror game, which looks so scary, um, and I haven't actually found a scary game in a while. Um, I really like, for example, Mad Father, but I really wouldn't call that a scary game per se. I definitely think there are definitely some scary moments, but I think it's more interesting than scary. Uh, let's see how much... Whoa. Okay, we have quite a lot of cobblestone. Let's keep on mining over here but yeah so i saw insidious and i don't i won't spoil it in case you guys haven't seen insidious the first one i actually saw it when it was on dvd so i actually didn't see it in the theaters but uh the movie was actually i thought it was pretty scary um my i went to see it with my mom and she was so scared of it she actually had to um, well, she wasn't scared. She was. She said it was making her stressed, so she had to leave like halfway through the movie. I don't even know when. She, uh, yeah, it was like must have been like thirty minutes into the movie. It was actually a pretty long movie too, but uh, it, it, I I thought it was pretty. It was it was strange because most horror movies they have like certain like peak moments where it gets like they have like scare or jump scare moments and then it like calms down for like a scene and then it gets scary again and it was weird because this movie didn't really have any of that it was like scary constantly which i guess was good and bad i don't really know for certain uh if that's a bad thing or if it's a good thing uh it definitely like there was definitely some scenes that made like my like my hands sweat <laughs> which which is strange because I've never had a movie do that uh but I saw the first one and I thought it was I I I'd like I like to say on par with the first one I think the first one the story was a little better I they do a lot of like connections with the second movie so if you haven't seen the first movie I would definitely see that first uh, because there's some parts that you'll need to see because it actually has it has pretty much all the same characters 
but let's see, there we go. But yeah, so that's what I I didn't like that this this past weekend which was my birthday on Friday. It went so fast. <laughs> like I feel like I just left school and I was already back from my <laughs> little break and I don't know. I can't believe it's already the end of September. <laughs> like where did the month go? Uh but let's see. Uh <laughs> um what am I looking for? Oh yeah, the door. <laughs> Uh, actually, I don't like that. Well, let's see. There we go. We're going to move it a little closer. Mm. There we go. And I'm going to put this little s stepping stone. There we go. Looks a little better, even though that creeper, that creeper, I swear, they must have increased, like... They probably didn't, but it seems like they increased their like the range of their explosive or explosion because that's ridiculous how far it reached. Like it destroyed that whole area, and there was only one of them. Uh, let's go back up here. We should have hopefully enough to finish at least most of the house. That's my goal. And I was thinking next episode. Maybe we'll actually have time. I'm going to actually f test and see how long you guys like this. I'm going to actually make this one a little longer. But, and see how you guys like it. Uh, I know, like, channels like IS Cupquake and stuff like that, they have uh, Minecraft series episodes which go on for, like, an hour, which is, wow, <laughs> that's a lot. Uh, but I'm going to see, like, maybe... Uh, I know one of you said 30 minutes, but we're just going to see how long it takes us to finish this house. I wouldn't like to finish this house by this the end of this episode. Let's see. There we go. But I like how you guys are giving me more suggestions for other games. I um, After I started playing Mad Father, I've gotten probably like five or six game suggestions of other games similar to Mad Father that you guys want to see on the channel. And I really like Mad Father because, well, first of all, it's free, which I think is really, I don't, I think it's made with, um, shoot, I'm going to need, actually, oh, that's right. I can just destroy the ground because I was going to use the sandstone. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say I need some more wood. But I like how it, well, it's free, but also, I don't know, it's, the story is so creative that I really haven't played that many games like that. Uh, I Like I told you guys, I don't know, a couple videos ago, I actually got a ton of games this summer. Um, I actually think I, actually, I don't even know if I listed them anywhere, but... I, I got Mirror's Edge, I got um, a game called System Shock, which is actually really, really, it's a really good game. I actually want to play it. Uh, I'm going to have to see if I, can, if I can get it to work, though, because it's a pretty old game, and it used to not be compatible with Windows 7, so we're going to have to see. Um, actually, most modern um, operating systems it didn't really work with. Uh, that's sand, okay. We need sandstone. There we go. Uh, let me just check. Uh, that's actually probably fine. It's hard to tell how loud the, the music is when you're actually playing. Oh, uh, no! We ran out! <laughs> okay, let's just see... Okay, we have 49... Since this is only gonna be... We're gonna expand this, obviously, several times. And, and then we might have the possibility of moving. So, I think... We'll just do that. And we'll just make it a tiny first floor flat, if you will. And we'll probably expand it over the next couple episodes. Let's see, there. Over here. Okay. Wow, this is really a nice place. Look, you can see the moon on that side and the sun on that side. We can watch the sunset together. Let's let's watch it. I always wanted to go out in like the early morning and watch the sunset. Or well, not watch 
on the sunrise. That would be a really cool thing, except the problem is that I never wake up that early. <laughs> Wow. This really is cool. Look at, like, the whole sky changed. Wow. Oh! <laughs> smooth, Luke, smooth. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go back up there. Okay, I don't actually know if I'll have enough wood because I'm already almost out and we haven't even really gotten that far. Uh, there we go, get rid of that. Um, let's see, cobblestone. I remember the first house I built in this game, I actually had like a giant mountain like this, except it was completely solid, there wasn't like any empty areas, and I just built throughout the entire mountain, and then I built like a tiny house on the top. I think, it's so hard to remember, like it's, it's been a while since I um, played Minecraft for the first time, but I always, like, this is like the one game where I've had that experience. Oh, whoa, where did I get arrows from? Oh. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. Um, actually, you know what? Let's see. I was thinking about building it one more up, but we're just going to see what this looks like first. And I'm sorry I haven't been live streaming that much. Obviously you know now because I told you guys how busy I am. Um, and I've been trying to work on Minecraft or YouTube videos first. And then if I have time, try and live stream. I know you guys really seem to like that when I was able to live stream because I don't know, I I feel like it's so much easier to like have actual conversations. Normally on YouTube it's so like one word or one sentence uh, response and you have to wait for the other person to respond and then when they respond you have to respond back and normally it just takes a while and like when you're live streaming it allows uh, me to actually talk to you guys like more one-on-one -on -one. and I always like that more wow okay Let's see I'm gonna have to try to do a little more decoration hopefully in the next episode we'll get some more stuff obviously it's my first house so it takes a while to actually make it look somewhat decent um, but I was actually thinking that we could build that animal farm that was suggested probably around right around where we spawn that would actually be a pretty good place maybe we can start building the fence during the next episode I'm actually probably I know I was gonna try and include most of the building and stuff like that but I might just um, try and collect a bunch of wood during um, between episodes just so that we don't have to do this at the beginning of next episode because we'll probably need a lot of wood um, to build that uh, fence area obviously we still don't even have a swamp why and I pick these guys up hello I'm here <laughs> hello come on there we go Okay, so I think after this tree we should have enough, hopefully. Let's see, 26. Uh, actually, let's get one more tree. Yeah, I noticed I must have turned something on because I don't remember this happening where a chest spawns with you when you create a world. So we got a bunch of stuff, but I can't... Well, this doesn't match the wood that we're getting right now. But it's, it's like all this random stuff. Uh, we can use that. We'll just probably bring it up with us. But we'll definitely have to go mining in the next episode because we be broke. <laughs> we have like nothing. Like literally all I have is the remains of that chest with all the signs and uh, all the like the random bits and pieces of mobs that we've killed or destroyed so far. I think I'm gonna take some flowers. 
We can put these flowers outside our house. Uh, let's see, over here too. It's too bad they only have like two flowers. <laughs> or two different kinds of flowers. I remember when I was trying to decorate houses, what I'd do was I would use um, like the different different um, grass. Uh, no, I don't think you can even use grass. It must have been like saplings that I used. But I'm trying not to kill any more pigs because I know that at least it used to when I used to play this. Um, they added it so if you um, once you destroy mobs, they don't come back and it decreases like the population of the area or the biome. So I'm gonna try to not do that. You know what? I am going to just finish this um, up with some dirt just so we have an even floor. And then I'll probably actually also get the rest of the sandstone that I can so that we can finish the flooring. But let's go up here and then finish the roof. Okay, that'd be kind of cool to have like a sunroof. I think what it would be also kind of neat is to have like a room full of just of just glass so we could watch the sunset again because that was really really cool. I've never actually watched the sunset in Minecraft or even like I said, the, like the real world. Um, so let's see, where were we? Uh, let's see, I'm gonna just do that. Just build a classic house. Oh wait, this isn't even. No, where did I go wrong? <laughs> um, okay, you know what? We're just gonna do this. Not that. That's messed up. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so we got this set up, and then we're gonna do there, there. And I don't have any torches yet, so we can't do anything with that. And we'll just put some... Oh, shoot. There we go. And I actually found out that if you cut off the edges, it actually makes the house look better. So we're just going to do that. For some reason, whenever I build a house in Minecraft, it's <laughs> I always think of, like, a, um, of a cake. Because if I like put torches on the top to light that up, it looks like there are candles. <laughs> so I'm trying not to do that, um, but it always seems to turn out that way. I don't know how. <laughs> but here we go. And we got our house rebuilt. Uh, we should have had... Where did that shovel go? There we go. And there. And I was thinking we could build a little area right there. Just finish this off. Wow, is it already dawn again? Or sunrise? It's not again, but <laughs> it just turned nighttime. Wow, it seems. I thought it was like 10 minutes. It doesn't seem like that. Okay. So we put the door in. <laughs> and put the crafting table down. Okay, there we go. And we'll be have a nice little gated area. Um, yeah, I just noticed this is uneven. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, there we go. Not exactly. There. Um. Uh, that's good for now. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it better next time. But I'd like to first thank you guys. Don't forget to answer those questions I asked you guys in the beginning of the video. Mods or no mods for one thing. What we could do is we could originally start it with a Minecraft survival and then maybe add like, um, I don't know, uh, mods to like spice it up a little bit or make it a little different like the more creatures or the more creeps and weirdos. Because I think those uh, those mods that add tons of new mobs are uh, kind of interesting because I've never really tried any of them. But also, uh, another question. So first question, 
mods or no mods, and then also, do you guys want to see the shader mod pack? Or not, uh, something that, um, one of the shaders, I know there's several. Um, do you want to see one of those? Uh, and um, also any further comments or suggestions or anything that you guys want to tell me um, and let me know about what you guys want to see me do. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try and put them down there until we <laughs> find a better space that is. But I can already tell that we're going to have a lot. I really like to thank you guys for your participation and you guys I, you seem to really like the series, or at least the beginning of it, so I'd like to thank you for that. I know a lot of you guys tend to just watch the videos and don't really have a suggestion maybe one episode or no but you always see uh, or want to message me and tell me how you think about the series you like um, you like it and uh, you guys want to see more so it's always nice to see those kinds of messages so besides that I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time oh whoops there we go <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. Uh, I think thank you guys for watching. Bye. <laughs> Adios.